It was town, is what we always called it. Grandma's taking us to town. It was a beautiful memory until I became an adult and realized some of the things that happened that made me think this is not such a pretty place anymore. Growing up here on Silver Dollar Road was so magical. It was the one place you could go, you wasn't worried about being targeted by the law. That property was so valuable, and not from a monetary standpoint, but valuable because of the history. The first owner of the property, he was born in slavery times. My great-grandfather died without a living will. Before he died, he said, whatever you do, don't let the white man have my land. being sold to someone else that the family had no knowledge of. We was getting threats. It came down and put eviction notice on a lot of Curtis and Melvin houses. My uncle Melvin told me, I need your help. If they're saying we have to sign our rights away or go to jail, I'm going to jail. It was heartbreaking to see them chained. I went in at 52 and come out at 61. They took the best years of my life. We fighting power. We fighting money. What are you doing? They really wanted this link. Can't you see that you're breaking? If you clear out Silver Dollar Road, what you gonna do with us? What you gonna do with poor people, period? The family can shout from the rooftops. The truth. Nobody will listen to them. This is ours. Our ancestors left this here for us. All of this is what you're fighting for. 